let's see about the liver diseases complicating pregnancy a most important liver disease complicating pregnancy is the viral hepatitis about which we'll see in this video so viral hepatitis is the most common liver disease which is seen in pregnant women and the types of hepatitis virus causing hepatitis are hepatitis a b c d and e coming to the clinical features in many cases the infections are usually subclinical but in few cases the signs and symptoms can be apparent which include nausea vomiting headache and malaise and after about 1 to 2 weeks of these preceding symptoms there can occur jaundice also low grade fever is more common with hepatitis a infection next coming to the laboratory findings there's increase in serum amino transferase levels so the values can range from 400 to 4000 units per liter and then there will be increased serum bilirubin levels which usually can range from 5 to 20 mg per deciliter so these are the laboratory findings coming to the management of viral hepatitis in pregnancy this is almost the same as the treatment for viral hepatitis in non pregnant state whereas the pregnant women with hepatitis need to be hospitalized and delivery should be conducted in a well equipped hospital there can be some complications regarding viral hepatitis in pregnancy which include so in pregnancy there are increased risk of developing viral hepatitis in second and third trimester and due to which hepatic failure is also found to be more common in pregnancy so and for the treatment we give lamivudin which is considered as the first line drug for hepatitis b during pregnancy and hepatitis e is very dangerous in pregnancy because it has a mortality rate of about 20% especially in case of pregnancy whereas in non pregnant cases it is not such dangerous an important complication would be hepatic coma which is a fatal complication which 
with about 80% mortality. And after delivery, there could be postpartum hemorrhage, which is also a serious complication. Also, acute renal failure can occur. So, these are all the maternal complications. Now, coming to the obstetric complications. The obstetric complications can include abortions, preterm labor, and intrauterine fetal death. So, in case of transmission of hepatitis B, the hepatitis B can be vertically transmitted that is from mother to the fetus and this is more common in the peripartum period by ingestion of infected maternal fluids. And about 10 to 20 percent of the babies born to HBS antigen positive mothers and 90 percent of the babies which are born to both HBS AG and HBE positive mothers will get infected by hepatitis B. So now coming to the vaccination for the mother and the newborn. Pregnancy as a whole is not a contraindication for hepatitis B vaccination. So, prenatal treatments with lamivudin as we have already seen should be started at 34 weeks for women with increased viral load. And a combination of hepatitis B immunoglobulin along with hepatitis B vaccine decreases the transmission of hepatitis B from the mother to the fetus by 3 to 7 percent. And all the children born to hepatitis positive mothers, especially HBS antigen positive mothers, should get hepatitis B vaccine. and hepatitis B immunoglobulin 0.5 ml these should be given as early as possible to prevent infection in the newborn to the maximum of less than 12 hours. So, these are all the important points regarding viral hepatitis which is an important liver disease complicating pregnancy. Thank you.